Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. Only one more Monday wake up. We got this. Today we will hear about Student Council, Decca Cookies, Yearbooks, Strides for Stacy, HGTV, Daily Sports, Maymester, and Graduation Portraits. But for now, let's send it to weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfort High School. It's currently uh, currently 77, and at lunch it's going to be 76 degrees, and at 3 it's going to be 84 degrees. Uh, today is going to be high of 87 and low of 65, and there's a 30% chance of thunderstorms later tonight. And now back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. The final student council meeting of the year will be Wednesday, May 16th. All members are required to attend. The meeting will be held in Mrs. Hale's room during community. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. Registration papers are available in the bookstore. Attention students, are you behind with credits? You have the opportunity to come to school and earn them online from 3 to 6 p.m. each day. This opportunity will last until this Friday, May 18th. There is no bus transportation, but we hope you will find a way to make this opportunity work for you. See guidance counselors with any questions. If you would like to join our HGTV team next year, please pick up a change of course request form in guidance. We have a need for people that want to work with advanced technology or smile on camera. The 2017-2018 yearbooks have arrived. If you ordered a cauldron, you may pick your yearbook up in the Commons during lunch today. After today, they will be available for pickup in the bookstore. If you would like to purchase one, you may bring $45 to the bookstore beginning tomorrow to get your copy. Reminder to check out the Media Center while you still can on PLC Mornings. It's popping with approximately 400 students in attendance. It's now time for sports with Nick. Thanks. In the track and field conference meet over the weekend, the girls placed fourth and the boys ended up placing sixth. Nayeli Alanis earned first team all conference in the 100 meter hurdles. Nayeli Alanis also ended up making second team all conference in the 300 meter hurdles, as well as Kenya Garcia in discus and Ella Myers in the shot put. The girls traveled to Harrison tomorrow for sectionals. For the boys, Colton Crum won his fourth conference title and he also ended up breaking the meet record in the pole vault. The boys team will be traveling to West Lafayette Thursday for their sectional as well. The varsity golf team placed fourth at the Crawfordsville invite over the weekend. Simon Weber ended up shooting an 81, J2 Whitlock an 82, Riley Romanski 87, and Casey Klez a 90. The varsity girls tennis team hosted the hot dog invite over the weekend. They defeated Greencastle by a score of 5-0 in their first match, setting up a rematch with Yorktown for the title once again. The Lady Hot Dogs ended up pulling it out and winning the Hot Dog Invite by a score of 3-2. The Hot Dogs will be hosting McCutcheon tonight at 5:15. Tonight is senior night, so please make sure to come out and support the seniors. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. Decca cookies this week will be M&M, chocolate chip, sugar, and chocolate brownie. Stop by the Decca cart to purchase your cookies today. Graduation commencement portraits will be available at events.livetouch.com. Visit this website to sign up and receive notification when proofs are online and ready to order. That's all for today's daily announcements. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. in a loot chest. Oh my god, it's this year's yearbook. Yes. That means it's available in the bookstore. Yes, go get yours today. Claire, look what I found in a loot chest. Oh my god, it's this year's yearbook. Yes. That means it's available in the bookstore. Yes, go get yours today.